Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have a Dell 17-inch laptop. I'm planning to remove the hard drive, and since I haven't, you know, see you guys for a while, I'd like to make a video. So this is not a how-to video, or this is not a tutorial video. This is just a, you know, a video that I like to touch base with you, and just so happened that I do have this brand new um, electric screwdriver. So um, it can unscrew and it can also screw in and it's pretty cool and it has the light on it as well so um, since I haven't you know do a video for a while I like to you know make a video here while using this new gadget that I have just so you know this video is not a sponsored video um, it is not paid by or sponsored by and this is uh, I paid out of my own pocket money and I like it and I really uh, enjoy uh, using this so I bought myself another set of this uh, electric screwdriver um, just so that in case if this breaks then I have a replacement for that and let me tell you what is in the box here so pretty much what I have in the box here they come in a three tubes so you have the main screwdriver uh, you have the extra bits so like the Phillips uh, the flathead the torque um, you have a lot of um, you know replacement bits on that and the last one here is actually uh, another tube that has a charger on it all right so um, I'm not trying to bore you with the review of this you know fancy new electric screwdriver uh, I just wanted to uh, you know share my opinion with you uh, how I like these things so much um, yeah, so the charging port here is in the back. It runs off the USB-C. Okay, uh, it's a rechargeable battery, so you don't have to change the battery yourself. Uh, these are the extra, uh, you know, come in handy bits that I use most of the time. So it's a cover and covers up this, and pretty straightforward. So plus is to screw in, minus is to remove the screw, and right in the middle you can adjust the speed as well as you can turn on the light all right so again like I said this video here um, is not really a how-to video and you will just hear me talking by myself or talking with you uh, you know telling what is going on and I don't know just talk whatever I want to talk about um, yeah if you want me to talk about certain things if you have in mind uh, you want to know about me or what do I do on my free time I don't know uh, what about my life and whatnot just comment below I'm more than happy to talk about it on my next video and um, yeah so my goal for this one is to um, remove the hard drive I, I just needed to remove the hard drive and I clone it to a new computer I have a new 17 inch uh, laptop that my client wants her data off from this computer onto um, her new uh, laptop so what I need to do is I need to remove the hard drive and then I'll be using um, a software called Acronis and Acronis is the one that I use to clone things so or to back up things and yeah so that's what I'm doing right now and again this screwdriver is magnet meaning that uh, you can see as I unscrew stuff it would also magnet the screw and I think I dropped the screw alright so I found it you can see this magnet and yeah it's pretty handy alright let's see how far can I get looks like the optical drive is stuck I would like to know what is going on here mm -hmm. it looks like it's being pushed down well it looks like this screw right here is blocking the access of the DVD to come out so let me remove the two screws And the optical drive should come up without any problem I get a prying uh, tweezer to try to you know scoop the thing up let me see if I can
looks like it's about time to replace the optical drive things are getting rusty in there uh, it looks like all the screws doesn't come out on on the top so I'll see what happened I'll leave it in there for now so let me try to pry the keyboard Um, what else do you guys want to know? You know, like this is not live. I can't see your comment, and I can't see what you, your question is about. So I'm not hundred percent sure what I want to talk about to you on this video here. But uh, all right, there you have it. I just removed it. Yeah, you can see. Definitely something was spilled on this laptop here. So this uh liquid damage, I'm not sure what liquid it was. Maybe a soda, maybe coffee. I don't know, I can't smell that. This has been a while. I think it's all dried up. Uh, but the good news is that it was spilled on the right side of it, depending on how you look at look look at it, because the laptop is opposite on the on the other side of it so it looks on my left here but if you flip it on this direction it's gonna be on your right so definitely something was spilled here you can see that okay no wonder she wants to do uh, no wonder she wants to buy a new computer um, anyway you can see that there is a damage here on this USB port uh, the IO board here with the CMOS battery uh, to me, the stain is yellow. It might be coffee. Uh, it could be a soda. If anything has sugars in it, yeah, definitely it would start eating up and co have corrosion onto it too. So definitely the laptop is uh, is dying. It's still not, you know, uh, uh, it's a good thing that she, she wants the replacement. All right, so this is the hard drive. Let me go ahead and remove the hard drive. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to clone the hard drive over to her new computer so that all her settings like her data, the programs, the settings, the favorites on the bookmarks, everything would get transferred over. Uh, same as her printer driver so she doesn't have to install the printer. Um, you just pretty much plug and play. Okay, so I just removed the hard drive. Let's put this on the side. Um, since I have you on the video, I'll just do a quick explanation. If you happen to have this laptop here, if you want to change the hard drive, that's how you do it. And this is the battery. If your battery is swollen, it looks like this battery is going out. When I touch the battery, I can feel the lump. So there's like one, two, and three lumps here building. So that means the battery is giving out as well. Now the battery might have some charge on it, maybe like 80% or 70% of juice, but definitely the battery is going out. So if your battery is bad, and this is the time where you can replace the battery. How to do that, there are screws on the, on the battery, so go ahead and remove that as well. Um, since you're still watching the video, um, if you don't mind, can you please like the video hit the subscribe button um, you know that really helps me to um, make more of this type of video for you as well as you know um, um, show you the how-to video or the tutorial on things on the repair okay so there are four screws one two three and four and then what I did was the cable on the battery, I used my two fingernail and push it down to slide down towards my body. That's how I remove it. And this is the battery. And if you want to do a replacement, this is the model number here. Go look it up. Uh, I'll have the link in the description below uh, to connect you to eBay or Amazon for the battery replacement. Uh, if you like my electric uh, screwdriver, I have it on the description as well. So um, here is your RAM. You do have additional RAM slot here. If you want to add more RAM, you can buy 
additional RAM if you do an 8 and 8 that would be 16 gigs and this is a DDR4 RAM and entire bottom here uh, this one here is actually a motherboard so uh, if you want to do a motherboard replacement you can do this on here to me I just want to point it out to you it looks like the keyboard here is not replaceable if you want to replace the keyboard looks like you have to replace entire of this uh, bottom part here alright so my video I think this is it this is um, what I wanted to share with you I wasn't sure um, like I said this is not a how-to video uh, this is not a paid program or anything I just wanted to uh, get my words out there for you because uh, I haven't do a video for a while so I just wanted to make sure I do something and get you involved and get you keep in touch with me in the channel um, you know if you new to the channel um, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell button and as well as like the video and if you want to know more about my business or know about me please comment below I'd like to hear your voice I'd like to hear your opinion and I'll reply and respond back to you in my next video. Stay tuned and take care folks. Bye.